Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with propositional logic, uh, is going to deal with how to evaluate propositions. So uh, the evaluation, the evaluation okay, of propositional statements, of propositional statements given specific truth values for for the propositions that are making up these compound statements okay but now anyway, no matter what we do we have to recall our four uh, let's say key connectives and how they work with respect to our propositions so just remember uh, negation and we have the concept of uh, negation uh, of a proposition uh, we have a true table that shows us how negation works it works on a single proposition it's a unary uh, operator uh, the proposition can either be false or it can be true and it's negation symbolized by p bar uh, when it's false it becomes true when it's true it becomes false okay, that's our first uh, let's say uh, operator the, the bar operator uh, we also have the or operator uh, which takes two propositions as input uh, takes P's and Q's and gives back and gives back uh, P or Q uh, the inputs could be false 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 true true false true true and an or is only ever false when both of the inputs are simultaneously false so it's only ever false here everywhere else it's true okay so that's our second operator the, the V symbol, which is uh, an OR. Okay? The third one is the AND. Okay, so the AND, once again, it's binary. It takes in two inputs, P's and Q's. False, 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 true. True, false, true, true. And the AND, symbolized by P hat Q, uh, is only ever f it's only ever true when both of them are simultaneously true. So it's only ever true in this situation here. Everywhere else it's false. And then finally we have our implication, implication, okay? and our implication is binary also, it takes two inputs, P's and Q's, premise and conclusion, false, 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 true, true, false, true, true, and P implies Q, okay? uh, is, only ever tr is only ever false when the premise is true and the conclusion is false. So it's only ever false here, everywhere else it's, it's, it's true. There are, are four key operators uh, or connectives and we want to use them to evaluate particular propositions under certain circumstances. So let's have a look at an example. Yeah? So let's say example one. Okay? So example one. Okay? Okay? And let's say, let's say that the three propositions, the three propositions, okay, uh, P, Q and or are respectively are respectively okay let's say true false and false okay so if that's the case if P is true if Q is false and if or is false okay evaluate evaluate the following okay so we want to know what's the story or what what's the situation, what's the truth value of the following proposition. And let's say we want to evaluate P and it with Q bar. Okay, we want to know what is what does this proposition evaluate to, evaluate to, okay, under this particular condition. So we know that the, the P's are trues, true, the Q is false, okay, and the or is false. And it just happens there's only P's and Q's in here. So under this situation we get that this proposition uh, must be equivalent to, okay, evaluates to, okay, so it must evaluate to. Uh, well, p is true, so we're going to do we're going to do uh, let's say substitution. Everywhere we see p's, we put in t's. Everywhere we see q's, we put in f's. And if there were or's in here, we also put in f's or false. So this becomes true. Needs to be ended with a false, okay, and that's what's in that needs to be done. And then we need to negate that, okay. So. What we now have to do is we, we before we can do the negation, negation only works, don't forget, negation only works on a single on a single truth value. And here we have a compound situation. We have an and, okay? So we need to we need to evaluate the and first. Now the question is what is an and? What, what does an and evaluate to when its left operand is true and its right operand is false? And if we look at the and table, uh, when the left operand is true 
and the right upper hand is false, the and evaluate, evaluates the false, which is what we know. An and only ever evaluates the true on both.